right, people, you don't know, say, shut up, boy, upon this scene once again. Maze, shukran sana for the support. As anteni kwa kuwatch Dimba na Doba, zile episode mna share uko mutani, amazingness, na fraya, na penda yo. And the lady, hivo, hi? hivo, hivo. So now, guys, leo, nataka kwa pigia story. Ile mme itisha tu, vile mna itisha tu zina kamu. Mwule sema sasa bunataka story ya kijana anaitua Balombua. <laughs> Amujiyo ni nani? Mwume changa nikiwa. <laughs> Uo ni Sadio Mane. Sadio Mane akiwa mtu ya kichaza bolo mtani. Watu kwa na mwitaka Balombua. Balombua means the football wizard. Siju kama na ispel vizuri, na pronounce vizuri. But anyway, it means the football wizard. That is how good he was. Who is the ball? Akiwa mtoi, but who is Sadio Mane? Sadio Mane ametoka wapi? Kwa mti tu? Indo story yake. Mane, alizaliwa Senegal, place na itua Bambali. Ema Bambali. Niko maushago, ushago, interior tena sana. A very remote area. Akiwa huko, the only activity watu wanafanya huko ni ukulima tu. Na he came from a very, watu wazungu wanasemaga humble background. Lakini kiyokweli ni kwa familia imesota. That is the word. So now, at the age of seven, Buda, Buda Mane alikuwa gani? Waitago wa mashaik, wale wa, 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 wa lead nini sessions kwa mosque. Eh, at the age of seven, Buda kes kumoja haka gonjeka. Kugonjeka wase waka mbeba, waka mpeleka kutafuta mtu wa kumtibu. Hata si hosi, juhosi ziko mbali tena sana. They were taking him to a guy that could treat him. Wale sema likuwa na umu natumbo sana. So on their way to kuom say buda mane akadedia na uko. But because wao sio ile poverty liko hiyo area buda ke alizika kwa tu huko huko kwa barabara. Vile tu hao kurudi na yeye homo wakamzika na wakarudi homo akasema ni aje haku make it. So mane sasa anaishi na madhake na anko zake. Kitu wanafanya ni ukulima. But mane ni acheze tu ball. Amke asubuhi awatoke wao nyumba kulima yeye amechukua kabol kake amejishonea ameenda kucheza cheza bol sasa anko yake alikuwa anamrushaga ngwara anamwambia twende utukalime wewe kijana anamwambia mazee anko chana na mimi mimi just want to play football siku moja akamwambia anko yake unajua anko mimi ndaje kukutoa kwa shida na hii bol anko yake akamwambia yo mad chukua jembe wakaenda kulima wakienda kulima yeye hata huko mtaani kazi yake ni kupiga mamao ya kitembea 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 fast forward kijana akiwa hapo around 14 years sasa mtaani ndo anaitwa hiyo balombua imeishika yeye ni mnoma ball shule hakuna kitu inakataa masomo ingia huku shaba <laughs> akajuaniaje mimi ndacheza ball Aka, alikuwa na best friend yake wakapanga buda mimi naipa home mimi naishia daka kucheza ball unjua kijana kwa 15 years ameamua mimi naenda dakar ndo understand dakar ni wapi kuna country itakuwa the Gambia. The Gambia inakuwa ndani ya Senegal. Unaona eh? Huko kijana alitembea. Akitafuta means akabesti yake akamchocha akamwambia uko Dakar kuna timu kikamu nda kushoto cheza ball. So besti yake wakachanga changa na hedo, akapata doza nini? Za transport. Kijana siku moja asubuhi mapema kama watu wamelala. Sedu mane ni nani? amerauka amechukua kabaga ameka tu nguo mbili tatu hapo amezidi amekalia basi unajua zile maocha nyi amjui kuna maocha basi upita moja in 24 hours saa tisa usiku hiyo ameingia ameenda amefika boda ya the gambia amejificha ficha amejificha ficha amevuka boda amerudi kwa ile basi tena ameenda amevuka tena boda mara pili ndio warudi sasa senegal ameingia ndio huyo ameenda akafika dakar unaona eh kufika dakar ameanza kuishi ametafuta lule best akampata akamlocate aka lule best akamwambia wewe tuishi kitu huku so ni, ni place tu anashinga na best yake so anaenda anacheza boli ya mtaani boli ya mtaani uko home mambo yamechemka mbaya kijana anatafutwa everywhere ni kudedi alidedi aliibwa alifanywa nini aieleweki familia yao siku moja wanaenda akashika yule kijana wakamkidnap yule best yake best friend utatuambia mtu yote wako wapi unasikia kijana amekuwa ra mimi sijui mimi sijui mara mchana tutaku wewe tutakumada unasikia ako wapi mane aka sasa wadau iko hivi sadio alienda dakaa kucheza ball eh hey, hey, eh kwa kina nani yeye akasema ule best ya ule best yake familia ikatoka huko mpaka dakaa 
Ako wapi kijana wakamtafuta wakampata. Sasa ni wamrudishe Bambali by force. Hmm. Unaenda kusoma wewe you are a young boy at 14 years. Umeacha shule aje. Unaenda akawaambia sirudi. Haki ya Mungu tuelewa nini hapa? Mimi nacheza ball. Nako basi let's negotiate. Sasa juu violence imekataa tufanye hivi. Turudi ocha. Usome tu one year. One year. Ukimaliza hiyo tutaachana na wewe. Twende tu maliza tu primo. Whatever you want to do we will encourage you. Akawaambia sawa. Turudini. Wakarudi ocha na kijana. Aluka yeye ameshaenda mtaani akaamua kuwa tu street, street child achezage ball huko mta. Akarudishwa ocha. Akarudi chuo kusoma. Kitu ilikuwa na motivate mane anafeel anacheza ball ni hiyo team ya Senegal sawa sawa hiyo team ya Senegal 2-2 World Cup hiyo team ilipiganga defending champion who is France who had won the World Cup in 1998 hiyo team ilipiganga France na ikaenda mpaka kuota final ya World Cup mane alikuwa anaona guy yani this men are me i can be these guys unaona fast forward kijana karudi shago akasoma hiyo one year alisikizana nao akamwambia sasa tumemalizana tumemalizana now i can go look for football eh yeah. akatoka ndio huyo unyo kwa unyo aste 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 baka wapi this time round ajaye paso kama ana ni kafea alipata ni angoli alimsaidia akampea fair kuna mko yake alikuwa very supportive so akafika daka kule best yake tu kwa kidogo akaambiwa kuna place inaitwa generational foot wasi wanafanya trials ni academy ya ball into generational foot endo try kijana karuka ngwari akaenda trials kufika trials akapata kabuda fulani yako hapo kijana amevaa short nyingine ukiona hata wewe unashangaa huu ni nani what are you doing short nyingine imeraruka ref imefika mpaka hapo kwa magoti kiatu hey ibetoboka everywhere kiatu imekula maisha tisho pia ina katu mzee sasa huyo scout akamwangalia akamuuliza wewe umekuja trials uchika hivi untakaje kijana akamwangalia akamwambia unaona buda this is the best i have this is the only thing i have mimi ni allow mcheze tu ball ni let me try akamwambia okay nje kwa kiwanja baada ya kijana yenyewe kwa ground akapewa ball si tunajua trials mnapewa kwa team mnapangwa hii team hii team hapa endeni mcheze maana aliingia kwa ground na kwaambia alikuwa gole wa hiyo timu tu nyingine ikianza ball ni kama alikuwa ametumwa na Mungu anampea tu ball alikuwa anachenga watu anatoka mbio na hiyo ball within the first half pekee alikuwa amefunga bao 4 pekee yake na sio ati amengojea tap in anatoa ball kwa post anakimbia nao mpaka anafunga that is how determined he was and that is how good he was akicheza ball at the age of 15 eh sasa ubuda kaangalia kwa nanyo mtu anajua ball akamuita akamuuliza wewe mkujaje trials hiyo unajua bola aje hivi akamwambia ah mimi kwetu maziko kwa hivi na hivi na hivi na ndio maana nimeka mimi nataka tu kucheza ball niomoke okay wao buda the following day akaenda kamletea nguo na viatu chezaga na hizi they are very good boy akaanza kucheza ball akicheza ball kuna mascout wanakuja ga Afrika wa most, most of them kutoka Europe wanakuja ng Afrika wanaangalia watu hiyo kicheza ball wana scout asema huyu na huyu na huyu tunaweza mchukua so kuna team iko France inaitwa FC Metz nilikuwa nimetuma scout wao Senegal wakaenda hiyo generational foot scout akaona mane akicheza ball akasema this is impossible this is magic ndio mdogo hivi anacheza ball hivi aje is it possible kakuwa eh so tuanze ni talks i need this guy nataka kumpeleka France kacheza ball huko Metz. Eh. Mane akuja akaambiwa ni aje umse anataka kupeleka France. Akajua ah ananipulia prank. So akanyama kanya hiyo story. Akamwambia okay ni sawa twendeni. Hiyo ni after back almost 2 years. Hapo jana ushifuta kucheza ball. Sasa kijana imefika anaenda France. Hakuna mtu kwao anajua that mtu yeye anaenda France. Ana akiambia wazee watajijinx. Kuna watu wanakuwa na superstitious beliefs I am one of them. Mimi siambia ngi watu kutianga before it happen. Sasa <laughs> zamani pia alikuwa hivyo. Amenyamazia story, amenyamazia. Akajua ni aje. Mefika siku ya kwenda France amemtafutia passport. Nina nina nini? Twende. 
wakampeleka mpaka airport maana hajawahi ona ndege wacha kuona airport hajawahi jua airport inakaa gaji amepelekwa amefikishwa airport so unajua mkifika airport mostly mnaweza ngojea ndege hata 3 hours ukiwa kama mlifika mapema ndio mdom board every 2 minutes anauliza wao say tunaenda saa ngapi 2 minutes majamaa time bado hivyo hivyo jua na feel hawa sio wanampulia prank hawa si wamemleta airport hapo wamerudisha tena wapi uko Senegal finally 3 hours ikaisha akaingia kwa ndege ha mlango wa ndege ikafungwa oh ndio hiyo ladies and gentlemen inside blah 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 flying from Dakar here to France so you the temperature is this and this and that we will be flying nini i am your captain eh kijara kajua baba we imefanyika mimi nimepa africa boy ndege kainuka pa wakaland france baridi iko huko baba sasa vile alifika france hana simu hana anything for kalala hiyo siku the following day akaomba mtu simu akapigia madhake simu akamwambia mama How are you? Sasa ofo saongee kizungu ama kifaransa anaongea lugha yao. Anambia mam, I am in Europe. <laughs> Madhaja anambia wewe usianze jokes mapema hivi. Niambie umekuwa aje. Mhm. Uko uko Dakar kuko aje. Mnacheza ball. Mami, niko France. Madhaja anambia watch a mchezo. I don't feel like jokes now. Madhaja akakataa kabisa ku believe that this boy is in France. Akamwambia okay. Akakaa after around 2 weeks na madaki ali believe actually mtu hii ayuko Senegal ako France wakaenda zoezi amepelekwa FC Metz nimemwambia eh huko FC Metz ni baridi alipelekwa time kama hii sasa hii huko kwa kuna baridi mbaya ma January hapo kuna kwa kama stink baridi wewe amepelekwa huko kufika ameenda kwa grao watu wamevaa masweta wewe mahudi ma jacket ma, ma, ma nguo refu yeye ametokea na short na t-shirt Ah, alijua juu baridi ilikuwa hapo ilimutandika akarudi kwa changing room huko kijana akiwa zoezi ya hiyo team akapata injury unaona lakini anaogopa kuambia wase ameumia because ana feel nikiambia watu nimeumia atarudishwa Senegal so he's playing with an injury a very serious injury ameamua mimi si waambi anapiga gatu zoezi anapiga gatu zoezi so one day akapelekwa hiyo place baadaye akamwambia itagua a doctor kwa mguu samo hapa hivi football footballers would know it so the left adductor was injured but he kept quiet one day game imeanza ligi imeanza akaingizwa kwa game na akamwambia alikuwa chini alikuwa chini haezi kimbia hizi fanya anything ameingia sub hadi akatolewa akiwa sub vile alikuwa chini sasa kupele kwa changing room mzee ni kulia tu analia ni sasa ameona haki ya Mungu ndege ya Dakar ndio ina kama mimi nimerudi Senegal akabidi ameambia tu coach kweli mzee mimi nimeumi nimeumia eh wo wo sijui atoka physician ama nani kumfanya x-ray kumwangalia wakasema huko kijana mlimuingiza kwa grao aje this is criminal amwezi kwa mliingiza mtu yameumia hivi kwa grao but wako anajua pia yao so kesi ikaisha akafanywa surgery akakaa 6 months ajao cheza ball finally akapona akarudi kwa grao hiyo siku alirudi pekee alikimbiza wanaume alikimbiza wanaume kwa hiyo kiwanja wakajua nyoe this is the boy we, we brought from Senegal here amepona wakaanza kucheza ball fast forward una akichezea mets wakaitwa wacheze ball a national team akapigwa call up a national team akiwa sasa kijana mdogo hapo akakam ali shine ali shine hiyo game iko anachezea bado tu europe ushaini wa vyote kuna timu inaitwa salzburg ikaone kasema this boy we need to check this boy eh ali ilikuwa gani sama olympics ndo lenda akashine sama olympics 2012 salzburg wakamuona hapo rb salzburg wakamchukua kutoka mets akaenda huko kijana kushine kijana kushine kuna siku sasa hiyo salzburg ilicheza ball <laughs> against gadiola we maana kajua uzi ni jina kubwa huyu hao wataniona alishainia hiyo timu alikimbiza hiyo timu ya gadiola ikiwa na wazito wote anyway akiwa sasa baga kukaa sana jusa ma scout all over europe alikuwa anamtafuta tu yani this boy 
akaona opportunity ameitwa US ameitwa China do mingi uko anaitiwa lakini a team from England came for him this team is Southampton akasema we because me want to grow my career acha niende South Southampton nataka mado yao ni kidogo aka fly akaenda Southampton akiwa Southampton huko ndio inasemekana aga alifunga the fastest hat trick in the history of Premier League aliingia kwa gara akafunga bao tatu pa 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 siku moja Southampton versus Liverpool hey, Liverpool inashinda game by the way wacha akaingia sub hiyo time hata wanyama alikuwa anapiga Southampton na kuambia mane ali dazzle Liverpool huko kijana alizungusha Liverpool kwa kiwanja Klopp akitoka hapa akasema huko kijana simwachi Southampton huyu nenda na Liverpool na hivyo hivyo wakaanza talks nini kijana akachukuliwa akapelekwa Liverpool Unaona ukiona umejua bo, I want to go umeona mtu star ndo huyu hapa una shine ana ku notice akapelekwa Liverpool Huko Liverpool pia ikamkubali akacheza ball sasa akiwa Liverpool Liverpool ilikuwa imekaa kutoka Premier League kwa restructure alianza kuitwa Premier League walikuwa hawajawahi shinda They won the Premier League akiwa Liverpool they won the Champions League akiwa Liverpool Hiyo time yote Ido ana get you kijana ana investigi home huko sawa mkwao amejenga shule amejenga mahosi because na usilikwa bibi budaki alikufia kwa barabara akipelekwa kwa mganga akamtibu jua kuko mahosi sasa so, amejenga wasema mahosi amejenga mashule ana try kufanya hiyo place ikaipoa so akiwa liverpool hiyo ndo alikuwa na get ana invest mtani anajengea wase but every time akijengea wase vitu huko huko home ana mazee buda ndio umetufanyia hii na hii na hii but all we want is the african cup trophy inatangwa the golden ball kiangalia kikombe African Cup we want the golden ball akawaambia wande we shall bring it to you 2019 world cup in uh, African Cup inachezwa Senegal inacheza mpira kwanza wao tupiganga sisi Arabian Stars walitufanya maneno bao tatu <laughs> but tukao tumewashikilia mpaka dakika 65 hapo wakaenda mpaka finali ya Afcon we wakamiti kina mahari zuko mpira ilikuwa ngumu wakatolewa kwa finali au kushinda finali hata bila kilikuwa Senegal wacha tu the following year they came to the Afcon na wakarudia kila kitu and they won finally Donasiaga Liu Sisse alishinda hiyo Afcon akiwa coach unaona eh iliwashinda wakiwa ma player akiwa captain but akiwa coach he won it for Senegal which was a very beautiful thing na Saidou Mane pia was very instrumental in it so deni yake na country imeisha akiwa anacheza Liverpool ball watu wanasema Aga Klopp alikuwa appreciate Mane sana akiwa sometimes Mo Salah na mnyima pass Mane Mane anapigwa sub kakuwa ah waelewani na Liverpool finally akaondokea Liverpool after they win everything there is to win in Premier League and in England akatoka akaenda Bayern Munich sasa kijana say as you speak ako Bayern Munich akiwa Bayern last year World Cup inachezwa Qatar Africa yote ko behind Senegal. The most prolific striker in the world at that moment is Sedou Mane. We want to watch him in Qatar. We are saying this is the time for Africa to shine. Guess what? A few days to the World Cup. Mane gets injured. Tunaanza hopes, tunaomba he will come. Easy in theatrics. Oh, oh ni mind games za ball. Oh. Baka tumeenda Qatar kuconfirm kama mane ni ukweli akuji kabisa world cup unfortunately kakuwa ni aje injury ni serious huko jana akuji world cup Senegal ilijaribu world cup wakacheza lakini clearly everyone could see bila mane hii team na struggle kufunga mabao wanapanga mpira vizuri wanaipanga baada kifika pale mbele hawana striker kwanza ile game walitolewa against England you could see Ismail Assa could not deliver as people anticipated or wanted him to deliver like Sedou Mane so for that reason Senegal World Cup ikaisha round of 16 lakini tukasema 2026 we dare lakini Mane tujui kama atakuwa anaicheza ama atakuwa na feel amezeeka but we wait to see what happens next Bruno kijana vile alikuwa amejiaminia mimi I will do it and he went out of there and did it kuna vitu mingi mpaka president wa Senegal anampiga na simu namwambia wewe nikitoka hapo unafaa kuje ukue president hapo because of the kind of leadership this boy has shown na kurudi kusaidia watu mtaani unaona that reminds me 
kuna kijana wa rege anaitaga Inika Moze. Inika Moze story tu haraka haraka budake aliyekaga madhake ball. Okay? Buda kujua dema kwa na ball akamtoka akaenda akamari dem mwingine. Na yeye mava Inika Moze vile aliza huko kijana akamweka kwa bucket vizuri akamrap kwa bag akapeleka kwa mlango ya budake pale budake anaishi yule madhamu mwingine akamwacha hapo akamwambia we lea mtoyo wako na madha akazidi buda kuona hivyo akachukua mtoyo wake akampeleka ocha kwa madha akamwambia mam nichungie huyo mtoyo hii akiuko ocha kijana akagro akafika point pia yeye akaona hapa ocha sitawai imba akahepa aka hepa home just like sedu mane akahepa home akaenda tao ku try kuimba kufika tao it ikajipa for him unajua ile ngoma inaimba ngo out in the streets they call it moda eh huo sasa ndio inika moze before sasa Damian Mali akuja rudi hiyo ngoma na kijana aka make it and he became a big name in reggae in, in reggae so wewe ni na ku hold back kama watu wamepitia hizi adversities wote wafike hapa wamefika eh wewe ni nini na ku stop hii ni challenge to you no matter how crazy your background is you have what it takes to be the greatest that which is inside you let it push you don't let people tell you you can't do it because kwenye mko down or anything kitukaa hiyo usikubali sawa hiyo ndo formation big up kila mtu amekuwa locked in share his story na mbogi yako kama unataka niongelee player mwingine ama reggae artist mwingine niandikie hapo chini kwenye comments nitapita nayo na big up watu wangu wa Zenka amazingness endelee kucheza kama nyinyi until next time keep it dimba na doba shata tiki taka everywhere big up mbogi yangu yasema box hao ndo wanafanyanga mnanitizama hivi via amazing sawa more life thing